Good afternoon, dear guy. Oh, no. I suppose I should call you Oh Great Manager here. Oh, uh, welcome to Random Play. It's not here, Rena. I'll go check the shelves back there. Uh, well, all right. Uh, oh, the shelves have hard edges. Be careful not to bump into them and hurt yourself. Who's the old lady? Is she looking for something? Oh, my apologies. I forgot to introduce you. That's my client, Granny Laisha. I'm helping her look for a special sort of sweet cake. Sweet cake? Sounds delicious. Is it a kind of dessert? I don't believe so. It's not just a sweet cake. According to Granny, it's a sweet cake with a silly smile. Rena, the silly sweet cake isn't on the shelves either. I'll check under the counter. Okay, Granny, uh, but please don't disturb the other customers. Uh, she can't quite tell me what this silly sweet cake is. But she really wanted to come to 6th Street to search for it. So I thought I'd try my luck at your store. I just can't find it, Rena. I can't find the silly sweet cake anywhere. Oh, please calm down, Granny. I'm here to help. Okay. Do you have any movies about silly, smiling sweet cakes, manager? We've got a lot of silly comedies, but none about sweet cakes. I can't imagine what that'd look like. It's a sweet cake that's this big, all round and chubby. And it's so funny when it giggles. Where did it go? We spent the morning looking in the dessert stores, and none of them had a sweet cake that was this big. Mm, silly sweet cake might refer to something round that looks like it's smiling. Well, we're out of dessert stores, so I'll take her to the toy shops this afternoon. You just reminded me. Round and with a silly smile? That sounds like Mr. Panda at the coffee shop. Ooh, a glimmer of hope. <sighs> I rarely come to 6th Street, so I'm not very familiar with the area. Thank you for your suggestion, manager. Come on, Granny Laisha. Let's head over. Rena, I can't walk anymore. My legs hurt and my mouth is dry. We have been walking around for hours. Granny, why don't you rest here a while? Mr. Panda is in the coffee shop next door. I'll go take a picture. I'll show it to Granny, and she can decide if it's the sweet cake she's looking for. I'll be right back. Thanks for your help. I'll stay here and look after Granny while you're gone. What can I get for you? Whenever you feel lost, you can always come back here for a cup of coffee. Hmm. The bottom layer is vegetable and ham sandwiches. The middle layer is fresh out of the oven butter scones. And the top layer is low sugar fruit cake. Wow. For tea, I have prepared rose tea and red tea. Do you take it with milk and sugar, Granny Laisha? Wow. I only went to get a photo, and you've managed to set up such an extravagant afternoon tea. 
Manager, you're back just in time. Uh, due to the situation at hand, I was unable to make anything myself. So these were all carefully selected from nearby shops while helping Granny look for the sweet cake. Oh, Manager, you're back just in time. Ahem. Please come and enjoy Rena's specialty afternoon tea. That's a relief. Uh, I mean, I can eat the low sugar cake without worrying about my diet. <clears throat> uh, sweet cakes? Picture? Oh, right. I took a photo of the silly sweet cake. Is this it, Granny? What do you think, Granny Laisha? Does it look familiar? Nope. This isn't it. I'm looking for the drooling sweet cake. Huh? I thought you were looking for the silly sweet cake. No, it's the drooling one. Oh, no, no, no. I'm, I'm looking for the loud mouth sweet cake. The whole corridor can hear it when it cries. I understand. Well, don't worry. I'll help you find whatever kind of sweet cake you're looking for. Uh, manager, can I have a word? I owe you an explanation. First of all, please allow me to express my thanks and apologize for any inconvenience. You see, this lady isn't just any client. She's my evaluator. I participate in the new Eridu Housekeeping Association's assessment each year on behalf of Victoria Housekeeping. This time, my assessment for the best service of the year is to serve Laisha Christie. Yes, Granny Laisha. I had a general idea of what the service would entail as I've participated in previous years, but this time's a little different. Granny Laisha didn't ask for any housekeeping services. She just keeps asking me to help her find sweet cakes. Uh, this test is trickier than I had expected. She might deliberately be giving me a difficult challenge. Uh, but I'll take care of things myself. I wouldn't want to affect your business. It's okay. There's not much going on with the store. Let me keep helping Granny. Sixth Street is my turf after all. Really? Oh, that'd be great. You're an amazing guide, both in and outside the hollows. Then let's cover all corners of 6th Street and capture photos of any suspicious sweet cakes that fit the criteria.
What flavor of music would you like to try today? of a sweet cake? It's round, and it makes a lot of sound. I... Oh! It's a record! This music store has impeccable taste. The collection is... Ah! This record! Just looking at the cover reminds me of something interesting. Are the songs on this album good? Or does hearing it bring back some fond memories? Both. There was an incident during the recording of this album. One of the performers quit temporarily. My job was to save the day and perform in her stead. Ah, <sighs> that was a challenging job. Can you guess which instrument I was in charge of? Given your personality... I'd say... the violin? The... electric guitar! <laughs> I never would have guessed! Right. We've taken pictures of everything we can think of. Let's go back to Granny Laisha. Her sweet cake keeps changing form, but I don't mind it much. The Housekeeping Association's assessments were always the same in the past. Either a normal service job or going into a hollow to deal with ethereals. Finding something made up is unexpected, but at least it's creative. <laughs> Let's hope these photos contain the sweet cake Granny wants. Oh, you're back! Rena and the. Uh, Rena's little sidekick. <laughs> I'm not a sidekick, I'm the manager here. Please call me the famed manager, Belle. <laughs> uh, or just Belle is fine. Sorry, manager Belle. Please allow me to apologize on her behalf. Okay, Granny, we have the pictures. Are any of these the loud sweet cake? Hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, no, none of these are the sweet cake. The one I'm looking for. Oh! I remember now! Waves! The sweet cake was floating on white waves up and down. Yes, that's it! It was a white wave sweet cake. Just like the one always floating around you, Rena. I I'm glad to hear you like my bang boo. But they're not sweet cakes. They're my trusted companions, with their own names. For example, this little blonde bang boo with bangs is called Drusilla. Oh, if I hadn't turned on silent mode earlier, it would certainly be making a fuss about how the sweet cake has changed yet again by now. Yeah, why has it changed again? A white wave sweet cake that looks like Drusilla. What could it be? Master, if I could interrupt, by combining the keywords Glacia Christie and waves, I have found a news article about an incident involving a Miss Metropolitan beauty pageant dropout. That voice just now. It's the smart voice assistant on my phone. Don't worry about it. Oh! <laughs> well, that's a very thoughtful AI assistant. Of course, I understand it's your little secret. Further inquiry would go against Victoria Housekeeping's rules of etiquette. In any case, it's a timely tip. Let me check the news. I should be able to find it on my phone. Miss Metropolitan Dropout. Ah, here we go! And it's actually a news article from 41 years ago. On the night of the highly anticipated finals, top contender Laisha Christie, favored to win, suddenly drops out, conceding her crest of waves. I see! 
So the Crest of Waves is a round crystal trophy awarded to the winner. There's also a photo of the dropout attached. If I compare it, <laughs> it's true. I never would have expected the housekeeping evaluator would be the star of such a contest. <sighs> what a mysterious lady. The sweet cake floating up and then down. Oh, it must refer to Granny losing the trophy. If that's the case, it's easy. We simply need to bring her the Crest of Waves trophy. That's not gonna be easy, Rena. It's a trophy from 41 years ago. The competition is held every year, even now. I just happened to have participated last year. Wait, Rena, you participated in Miss Metropolitan? Yes, the competition was divided into many sections, such as singing, acting, painting, cooking. Can you guess which I took part in? Based on my last guess with the instruments, I'll rule out the most common, like singing and acting. I'd assume something unexpected, like painting. The answer is all of them. <laughs> Actually, that year's competition was in urgent need of a makeup artist, so I stepped in to help. It was quite busy, but still an enjoyable experience. Who could have guessed that? I feel like I've been tricked. Oh, I was just teasing you. Please don't mind me. But because of that, I know the competition organizers. So asking them for a commemorative trophy shouldn't be a problem. Rena, can you find my wave sweet cake? Don't worry, Granny. I'll find it for you. Whatever kind of sweet cake it is. It's getting late. I'll take her home first. You should get some rest too. Thank you again for your help.
They made me so mad. People like that belong behind bars. Huh? Oh. Come on, Ellen. You should be more nervous in these situations. Nervous about what? It's late at night. You're a student in a maid outfit, and you're alone. I know you're strong and all, but you still have to be wary of people who approach you late at night. Uh, I'm the one who asked them to come, actually. Ellen? You? There's a karaoke place near here. I asked them to do me a favor. Karaoke? Ellen, don't tell me you brought these two strangers with you just because you wanted to sing. What? Who'd bring strangers with them to sing karaoke? That wouldn't make any sense. Then what were you talking to those two about? The karaoke place is selling limited time all day discount vouchers at night. My friends and I have been really into coming to this place lately. With discount coupons, it'd be much cheaper. I came by here today while finishing up my commission and ran into two guys who had just finished eating. So I asked them if they could help me buy two more. But you scared them away. I'm surprised to see you have such a serious side. Show some respect. <sighs> That's a proxy for you. Don't repeat what I said. I feel so foolish right now. But now that you're here, why don't you buy some discount vouchers with me? Thanks for today. If it weren't for me, you could have had three discount vouchers instead. I wasn't talking about the discount vouchers. I meant thanks for worrying about me.